I'm here with Dr. McLaughlin today and we're going to discuss the difference between an x-ray, an MRI scan, and a CT scan. The difference between an x-ray, CT scan, and MRI scan. An x-ray is a single beam that projects an image onto a plate, literally a photographic plate. And we look at that and it shows us the bones because the bone tissue absorbs the x-ray more than the plate. So it blocks some of those beams and it shows up and we can look at bones really well with x-rays. If we do dynamic x-rays where people are moving, particularly as a spine surgeon, I like to get dynamic x-rays of the lumbar spine or the neck. We're actually getting people to, to move, to bend forward and to arch backward, or they turn, flex their head and extend their head. We can get uh, an idea of the stability of those bones and the bony alignment. So those are very valuable studies. But again, they focus just on the bony tissue. You can get an indirect evaluation of the ligaments by when people flex, move around, because you can see if there's an integrity in the alignment. A CAT scan is um, a computerized way of getting many x-rays combined into one image, and it can give a, a very uh, beautiful uh, image of the anatomy that we're looking at. So it gives you a higher detailed x-ray type of image and it gives us uh, like a three-dimensional uh, view of the spine or the bones that we're looking at. Again, a CT scan is oriented towards bones. It shows the bones really well and the soft tissues less. And then lastly, an MRI scan is really focused on the soft tissues and the nerves. So an MRI scan is a better study to look at muscles and nerves within the spinal canal and the brain tissue. Uh, whereas a CAT scan is a better study to look at the bones that are housed around those nerves that, uh, that are, have an infrastructure uh, to form the muscles that are attached to it. So again, MRI scan, soft tissues, nerves, a CAT scan, when we need to get a highly detailed image of the bony anatomy, and an x-ray is a significantly lower dose radiation, gives us a small piece of information about a single bone or if we use dynamic studies with people in different positions, we can see how the bony alignment is affected uh, with movement. And so we can get an indirect view of the ligamentous stability of the spine.